Hello there, and welcome to this video where I will show you how to use text to speech in PowerPoint. So, here I have my PowerPoint presentation that I created earlier Free Lemon Facts You Didn't Know. Each of these slides has notes. So, just to show you down here, if I click Notes, you can see my notes there at the bottom. So, I've got that on each slide. Now, having slide notes is not essential. You can free text type your script into the text to speech tool, but I find it helpful just to have the notes in advance so I can use them. To start using text to speech, I go to the iSpring Suite tab. iSpring is a third party app that integrates with PowerPoint, and this helps you to convert your PowerPoint presentations into an interactive e learning course. To find out more about iSpring, check out the link below. To insert text to speech, go to Manage Narration. This opens up a new window, and on the left, you can see the four slides. Over here on the right, it's got the slide notes, which you can also amend from here. To insert text to speech, go to audio and click text to speech. Across the top, you've got different languages to choose from. For this example, I'm going to go for English Great Britain. Each language has a choice of voices, and there's a mixture of standard and natural voices. So to give a voice a try, just click the name and click here, and it gives you a preview of what that voice sounds like. Hi, my name is Hugh. I can easily convert your text to speech. In the white box area, you can free text type in your script, or another way is down here at the bottom, is click insert text from notes. And this is why I find it useful to have your notes in your slides in advance. It just speeds up that process. So let's hear what this one sounds like. Think lemons are just sour little yellow balls for squeezing in your lemonade. Think again. Prepare to have your citrus horizons expanded with our fun and informative course. Three facts about lemons you didn't know. There are additional options available. To open these up, you click here on the SSML editor, which stands for Simple Synthesis Markup Language. So by clicking here, you get these four options. Pause, which allows you to add pauses to the script. I find this useful when working with bullet points, so you can get it to pause after each bullet. Then you've got speed, so if you want to adjust how the script is spoken, so you can speed it up or slow it down, depending on what you need. Then you have say as, which helps these details to be read out correctly. For example, the currency. And last option you've got here is pronunciation. So if you find that it's struggling to say certain words, then you can help with the pronunciation by spelling it out. To learn more about these four options, you've got this link here. To give you an idea of how it works, I'm just going to use one of these, which is to adjust the speed. So I click here and let's make it slightly faster. It pulls in this language script, which is a bit like HTML. Don't worry if you don't have any code experience, that's not required. It's pretty easy to use. All I need to do is just drag this text and just drag it so it's in between these two brackets. And let's play this back to hear what it sounds like. Think lemons are just sour little yellow balls for squeezing in your lemonade. Think again. Prepare to have your citrus horizons expanded with our fun and informative course. So Hugh sounds like he's in a bit of a hurry. So once you've made your adjustments and you're happy with the voice and the script, you can then insert into your slides. So to do this, you go to insert. So on this screen here is where you want to insert your clip. So you've got an option here at the current cursor position. This refers to the timeline down here at the bottom. But I would say most of the time, if not all of the time, you, want, you would want the audio to start at the beginning of the slide. There is an option here that will adjust the slide duration automatically. So let's click this and then click insert. And this just ensures that the audio is in time with the slide length. You would repeat this process for each of the remaining slides. When you've added your audio to the remaining slides, go over here and click Save and Close, and this will bring you back to your PowerPoint presentation. Once you've added all your text-to-speech narrations to your PowerPoint presentation using iSpring Suite, you're ready to finalize it. To do this, click on Publish in the iSpring Suite ribbon. This will open up the Publish window, where you can choose the format that you want to publish your presentation in. I'm selecting iSpring Space. iSpring will then generate my content. When this process is complete, I click Manage Content, 
And this takes me to the iSpring cloud where I can then share my content. Text-to-speech is just one of the many features that iSpring Suite offers. If you're interested in learning more, then check out this video here or take a look at the iSpring website.